Hey guys, it's Lizette. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today is going to be a little bit of a different video for you guys. And the reason I'm doing this video is because I have posted multiple videos of me being in the hospital and getting my infusions. Um, I've had a lot of support from you guys and I really want to thank you guys for that from the bottom of my heart. Um, I have what's called congenital methemoglobin anemia and it is a super rare blood disease. There aren't um, there aren't a lot of options for people with congenital methemoglobin anemia. My only option is going into the hospital and being infused with methylene blue every other week. Um, it's a very painful process and it's mentally a very um, straining process. Now I know that when we go on YouTube we completely open ourselves to be um, victimized and bullied and uh, cyber stalked and attacked and I'm okay with that because I really want to raise awareness of this disease. So the past few times that I have been hospitalized I have not videoed it because I didn't want people to think that I was going um, and doing the videos for pity or sympathy because in no way do I want anybody's pity or sympathy. It is not an easy disease to live with, but I'll tell you what, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger and God has been faithful and just keeps me going. I have four incredible children. I have an amazing husband. I have parents who are extremely supportive of me. I have a um, little brother who loves me and is very supportive and a sister-in-law who is just incredible. So I have family surrounding me that love me and are supportive and so I have a really good support team. Now the reason why I'm coming on here is because if you guys know somebody with congenital met hemoglobin anemia or just met hemoglobin anemia in general, um, I want to make you guys aware of some things that they can do to, first of all, find out if you have met hemoglobin anemia. The only way to find out is through an arterial blood gas and they will, once they do the arterial blood gas and they run the blood work, they will notify you that, hey, you have high levels of methemoglobin. Um, methemoglobin anemia attacks your body and it basically starves it for oxygen. So it's almost like living in a house fire every day of your life and it's very unpleasant and very, very painful. Um, oxygen is the only thing that burns fat and so when you lack oxygen, it is hard to burn that fat. And so that is something that I have had to deal with. Um, significant weight gain from this disease. But again, you guys, that has not broken my spirits or um, knocked me down. I am in the process of trying to find options of potential surgery because... I want to be healthy. Um, I don't care to be skinny um, or the ideal um, perfect beauty. I'm perfectly content in my own skin. I just want to be healthy because I do have four children and I want to be around to see them um, graduate and get older and get married and have children of their own. And so for that reason, I want to be able to um, get healthy and unfortunately because oxygen is the only thing that burns fat my only option is surgery so um, I'd appreciate you guys to um, say your prayers or your good vibes or whatever it is that you guys believe in um, send them to me your good mojo or juju or whatever you want to call it um, I have uh, some big answers that will be coming in over the next few weeks and I am hoping they're all positive. Um, if not, like I said, God doesn't give us things that we can handle. 
that we can't handle, and I will figure it out. Um, but I would appreciate your guys' support um, during this time. I will be, uh, excuse me, I will be continuing to upload videos for you guys, and your like, share, subscribes, um, all mean the world to me, your comments. It really helps get me through the day, you guys. Um, just knowing that I have my um, subscribers out there, my little close-knit family that I can talk to and share with and give my opinions and not be judged. And for the people who do judge me, I really don't pay them mind because, like I said, I have so many positive things going on in my life. So I'm just thankful for the positive. Um, I believe in seeing the good in all things. And um, so that's where I'm at. And I wanted to share with you guys that no, unfortunately, it's not that I haven't posted the hospital videos because I haven't been in the hospital. I wish it was, but it's not. I have been. I've been going every other week um, this last time in. I was actually in there for four days and it kind of stunk and the food sucks in the hospital and if you're stuck with um, a roommate then you're stuck with the roommate and their family and their habits and it's really not a fun place to be. The hospital is just not a place that is fun and um, it's also not a place where you get sleep and so that can really take a toll on you but um, I've been doing good since then um, since my last infusion I've been doing really good um, my baby girl not my youngest but my baby girl turned 12 and my son turned 13 last month and so that is always exciting watching my kids grow and become their own people. Um, I know I'm saying um and like a lot of you guys, but I'm a little nervous because I've never just gone on and just kind of laid it out there. So I'm kind of laying it out there because I want other people to um, spread the message and like I said, if you know somebody with the met hemoglobin anemia or the congenital met hemoglobin anemia, please give them my information and have them reach out to me. Right now I'm working um, on contacting multiple research facilities in hopes of a potential um, non-FDA approved um, option, medication, alternative method of treatment something, anything. Um, I'm really open at this point to just get better. Um, anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Spread kindness like litter, guys. Bye.